Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I do a little <laughs> big baller type of wine review. That's two dollars. Two buck chuck time. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I'm reviewing the Trader Joe's Shiraz. It is a 2015 from California, uh, made by the Bronco Wine Company, the Charles Shaw Blend, and it is 12.5% alcohol and ball volume. So let's go ahead and pour a sample. So I expect to see some artifacts because I accidentally like popped a bit of the cork in there, and let me see if I can dig it. Am I gonna? I'll drink around it. Uh, but from a color standpoint, actually it's a little bit more purple than uh, I normally tend to see. That's not bad. I mean, it just means it's a younger wine, which by 2015, that really hasn't had much time to, um, to mature, especially if it was just bottle fermented. You would expect to kind of have coloration start changing more of the three to five year mark. Um, and seeing as I bought this earlier and it just turned 2018, it still has a ways to go. Uh, but from a, a visual quality standpoint, it looks fine. Other than that piece of cork I knocked in there, opening fail. But um, yeah, so as I would say it, it's probably about dark red with some hints of purple. Probably about 25% purple, 75% red. Good clarity good now yeah, no cloudiness yeah, looks pretty good uh, from a nose standpoint it's a little bit it's a little bit earthier than I thought it would be getting a little bit of sort of like a, a barnyard smell to it what I'm gonna say is like raspberry and blackberry the main notes here. Yeah, I mean, but it has it's sort of like a pungent note to it. It's very interesting. I, 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 would, I would not have ex expected to get that, to be quite honest. Not from this. But from a taste, let's see what it does. It's actually a little bit peppery. It has a little bit has more tannins. Um, uh, it is more of a, I should say, it is more of a tannic wine. Um, has a little rough on the mouthfeel. <laughs> I got the cork. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's is a little rough. It could use a little bit more time, kind of aerating, decanting would probably take a good chunk of that away. A lot of kind of blackberry up front and then it kind of yields back to what I'm seeing is black cherry. I thought I would got raspberry on the nose. Might have got it on the nose, but I'm not getting it, but I am getting black cherry. It's a bit of acid all the way through. No real oakiness, which is if they really didn't oak age it, which for $2 a bottle, I don't really expect you to do. Um, then that could explain, explain why the tannins are a little bit rougher um, than your average semi-oaked uh, short house. All right, so rating. What am I gonna rate you Trader Joe's 2015 California Shiraz? I think I'm gonna rate you an okay. You're not bad. Um, now, I will say this. I've had a lot of really, really bad wines for $3 and under. Uh, for example, take a look at cul-de-sac. That's one of the ones that just did not do very well. This is nowhere near it. For for two dollars, this is multiple 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 steps beyond where cul-de-sac is. Um, is it up there competing with some of the best? No, but you know what? It isn't that bad. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you like today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. If you had the Trader Joe's Shiraz, I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I will see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime. It's $2 and it's okay. That's a win. Hey everybody, this is the point where I do my outro. So this is where you can subscribe to me. Uh, if you want to see more video reviews, 
of me drinking wine and doing other weird stuff in the upcoming year. And this is where you can see a video that YouTube says you would probably like. And you know YouTube, they kind of know a thing or two about videos.